Hey everybody, Rambles here, and welcome back to our Blood Elf Mage's journey. We are going to head back out to the east and take on the troll villages today. That's going to start us off. We got our mount last time. I trained like three levels of mage spells that we hadn't learned. So we have cool things now like teleport silver moon, which I still don't have reagents for. Uh, and a couple of different wards. And we got a bunch of uh, le next levels of some of our main spells. So yeah, we are looking pretty good. Let's make a stop here in the Sanctum of the Sun and get this one turned in before we head back over here this way. Victory lies ahead. Salama Ashalanore. These pants are surprisingly an upgrade. Farewell. And this is the quest to travel to the Bleeding Ziggurat and the Hollowing Ziggurat and recover the Stone of Light and the Stone of Flame. Return to Magister Kendris of the Sanctum of the Sun after recovering the items. Death to all who oppose us. We want to work on this first part of the kill quest and then turn it in and get the follow-up before we do anything in this southern area. Uh, we absolutely have to go back for this tin vein though because one of our priorities right now is smelting bronze and then making bronze, uh, bronze items for jewel crafting. We're making bronze settings. And I'm assuming we're going to get exposed to a lot more tin once we move on into Hillsbred Foothills.
Oh, we also got Blink, which is going to be a lot of fun. It'll be easier now to freeze enemies in place and then blink a little bit away from them to get some range. Evocation also is going to be huge for us. Uh, as soon as we're oom, we pop this. It's a four minute cooldown. And I feel like we tend to go oom. Like if we go oom, it's like every three or four minutes. So that cooldown, I think it's going to be really, really timely for us. I feel like also in at least one of these huts, there should be some food for us to poison. We need to poison the meat rack, the smoked fish, the smoked meat rack, and the fresh fish rack. So three different racks. At least one of these racks is, is up here somewhere, I think. Yeah, the first one that's marked is all the way down here, though, so I don't know. But I should be investigating the houses.
after this guy, we're technically done with the shadow casters. We still need a bunch of weapons from the headhunters that we haven't gotten a single axe. And we've completed their portion of the kill quest. So we might be here for a little bit of extra time clearing these guys. As soon as we get all the headhunter weapons, then we'll go back and we'll turn in the kill quest portion, uh, which should have a follow-up kill quest. I'm just killing the shadow casters as well because I believe they share spawn points with the headhunters. So if we if we rely on respawns here, clearing them all is going to be a better idea. Uh, we might have a little bit of an issue here. We have a mob stuck in the ground. And it seems like they're evade bugged. Okay, if we stand right here and we don't move, we might be okay to clear this one. Very, very sketchy. Hey, it's our first axe. Well, let's head back to the north a bit and see if any of these headhunters have respawned. Let's also loot this guy because he could very well have our last item on him. In fact, he does have our very last item on him. I'm glad I spotted that. Uh, yeah, let's go turn this one in and we'll see about the follow-up. Yeah, see, the next part of the quest is to kill 10 Shadowpine Cat Lords and 10 Shadowpine Hexers. And those are the other weapon types that we need also. 
So we'll go south and we'll do that, and then we'll also be going all the way down after the named guy, who I believe for this one is an elite. However, uh, we should be able to take him just fine on our own, even if he is an elite, should be okay. Obviously fighting the Cat Lords is going to be like a huge mana sink. It just takes a lot of spells to kill them and their pet. Uh, we probably also have a talent point. We have two talent points to spend. I have been very bad. What do we want to go into? We could go into flamethrowing and we could have more range on our fire spells. I'm still kind of using frostbolt to slow enemies down, so I don't know if this is what, what I want for right now. I think I just I might want to get the rest of the points in ignite and then we kind of go from there. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to max out Ignite, and then maybe we grab a point or two in Flamethrowing. And I guess I really could be opening with Pyroblast. It's probably what I should be doing. Yeah, maybe with that in mind, like if I'm gonna open with Pyroblast, then maybe I just stop using Frostbolt and maybe I do take the longer range on fire spells and then I just kind of try to be at max range more often uh, when we're initially pulling. Yeah, 
Yeah, that feels really good. It's it's basically like a one-two combo to, to take guys out when they're a couple levels below us. Uh, now we're still kind of on the lookout for these racks of meat. I feel like I'm gonna I feel like I'm gonna have to turn questy objectives on to find them eventually. We'll see how it goes. We've got all the items we need except for the Cat Lord Claws. Ah, uh, back here there is a fresh fish rack. So we need to work our way inside. I see the other, or the second wreck of meat, rather, over this way.
so we have all of the items that we need. Now we just have to finish the kill quest. We have to poison the last rack of meat and then we have to take on the named guy. Uh, okay, I saw another enemy and I jumped off. Not quite intentionally. Uh, I don't think that was the name guy. I think it was just like another cat lord it looked like. We might have to clear them first. Yeah, it's a cat lord. Uh, then again, yeah, you know what? We better just clear them to be, to be sure. Alright, so he is an elite. I still think that we should be able to do this. 
So we're going to give it a shot. It was close with him being a caster. It was close. I should have had Dampened Magic up. And if I'd have realized he was going to be a caster, I would have gone into the fight with it up. Dash, Malinori. The reckoning is at hand. Remember the sun well. We will have justice. All right, level 23. And yeah, I think I will put a point into flamethrowing here and I will try to work on getting our max distance with pyroblast. Alright, that wraps up the eastern half of the zone. Uh, we still have some stuff to do on the western side, and we also have the Deathholm stuff. But I think I'm going to hearth back to the inn, and we'll take a little break. We'll get some rested XP. And yeah, guys, I've been having a great time. Thank you so much for joining me on the mage's journey. I really do appreciate it. If you are digging the content, leaving a like, subbing to the channel, ringing the bell, all that stuff really does help me out a lot. And I appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.